So you can put this next to your dishwasher or your washing machine on your kitchen counter under the sink in your bathroom under the basin next to your water heater or boiler or even other flood risk areas like the section of your roof or a low spot in your backyard because only a few drops of water on the sensor wire And if you already have an irrigation system with Shelly smart devices, you can also use this sensor so that if it rains, it will interrupt the watering cycle, which is awesome. This is the Shelly Flood Generation Floor, and it's exactly meant to warn us when there's a flood, or we can change to tell us when it's raining so that we can do some smart scenes and have everything automatically, including our irrigation system. System. Now it's really simple to set up, we just need to take it out of the box, you got the device, a manual inside the device which I thought it was a nice touch, for a, a batteries, a wall mount that can be screwed in or attached with the included double sided tape, it also comes with a black and white sensor cable which is this one right over here and a white extension cable. Now we just need to remove the battery protection strip and once you insert it, it starts working. Open the Shelly app and it will appear automatically which is awesome just follow these steps give the sensor a name choose the room and in about two minutes or so you are up and running and it even knows when the cable isn't connected. Once you have set it up on the area that you want or if you want to test it out first, once a drop touches this wire So even if our phone is on silent and locked, it will send the alarm because it's an emergency, just like we did see with the fire detector from Shelly and it will only stop once you go and clean up the water. So now we can place it next to the dishwasher, for example, either on the side or even under the unit or on your washing machine. You can stick it just on the side like I did with mine and then run the cable underneath to cover the whole area or even under the bathroom or kitchen sink. In my case, I did try out on the bathroom and my only suggestion here is since the cable is a bit stiff, as you can see, it's not a soft cable, it's a bit stiff. So my suggestion is only to use a little bit of tape so that we can keep it as close as possible to the surface that we are putting and then if I have it on this wooden area right over here and I have a big area with the wire, if any small amount of water just comes and touch the wire, I will receive that notification and I will be able to do something about it. So the phone now is silent for a while. We still have the beep from the device. And besides these obvious spots, there are also other places that we can use, for example, like a roof area where we want to know if water is running in a specific space and at which circumstances there will be water, because I will be able to know on the exact time that the water will be there. So it's easy for me to troubleshoot whatever is happening there and take action. And we can use it on other risk zones. For example, in my particular case, here on my backyard, where I do have the the pool pump room and is below the basement level. I do have pumps to drain the water up and then to push them up to the draining spot. But if something fails, the sensor will alert me if I put one right over there. Now, at this moment, I'm using there one of the Shelly sensor generation one, which we have seen a few years ago, and it works great. But the biggest advantage is that we only have those three contacts right over there. So the sensor will only be able to send me notifications 
if there is water on this area right over here. Now, generation four will break all those barriers because we will have two meters of area that we can cover. And besides those two meters that are included, if we take a look at the cable, it has male and female, which means that I can plug another extension and I can go from two meters up to a maximum of 150 meters. So it's huge. 150 meters covered by only one single unit. And in my case, I don't see the need for 150, but in some cases, agriculture, for example, or even other corporate environments where we want to cover a large area with just one unit. This is awesome. And this is the biggest advantage that I see comparing with the Shelly Flood Generation 1. Now, if we take a look at the settings, we can also choose if we want to add a delay time, for example, or set the alarm to strong, normal or eco mode. Here on all the examples, we were using the normal mode and we can also switch it to the rain sensor mode. Then we can create a automation so that if it detects rain, it will pause our irrigation system. And as long as there's water on the cable, it won't reopen the valve. So that's really, really cool. And if you want to know a little bit more about the automatic irrigation system, we already did a video about it. So I will try to leave a link down below. And it works very similarly to the smoke fire detector that we have seen here in the past. And I will try to leave a link down below as well, where the alarm sounds even if our phone is locked or asleep. And of course, I can change this because it's a notification, a critical notification. In my particular case, for the smoke detection alarm, which is something that I use, I don't want to turn that off because I want to receive any notification at any hour because that is a life saver. So at night, when I put my phone to sleep, I only have the emergency numbers from my family members. So if there's something that they need from me, the call will pass through. And besides that, I also have the Shelly alarm. So if anything happens, I will receive. It doesn't matter what time, it doesn't matter what I'm doing. Even if I'm asleep, I want to be awake. And the same will happen with this right over here. And that's really, really awesome. And the best of all is that it's super easy to use, super easy to set up and can say, us from big headaches or even to detect things like whether it's raining in a specific roof area, where and when, and for example, next to our water heater, letting us know exactly when there was a leak so that we can identify the problem that we have sooner. Because if at the end of the day I arrive home and I see that there's a few drops of water, I don't know at what time those drops went there, but if I have this detector, I will know exactly the time that the drops fell to that area. And I will be able to tell, okay, at that particular moment, what happened? Someone opened the tap, someone turned on this, someone turned off that. So it will be a lot easier to troubleshoot situations where we have water involved. Hope that you enjoyed the video and to meet the Shelly Flood Generation 4 with two meters extension, but that can go up to 150 meters away. If that was the case, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Huerto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.